New at 10, a Kansas City songwriter will shut down Times Square this weekend. It's a concert to kick off Climate Week with leaders from around the world. But before he meets with famous names like Prince Harry, Bill Gates and Bill Clinton, he sat down with our own Dave DeMarco. Dave's live at CPKC Stadium, the site of today's Kansas City Symposium. Dave. Yeah, in, in New York, A.Y. Young is going to be part of the opening ceremonies there. Today here, he was the closing act for a unique concert where it's 100% powered by renewable energy. He got his start on the Fox show X Factor. 956 concerts later, this weekend, A.Y. Young will be back in Times Square where last year he made history, delivering Times Square's first ever battery-powered concert. I didn't get here to Times Square overnight. That was 956 steps, <laughs> right? And it started at the Country Club Plaza. The Kansas City artist started attracting attention on the plaza, not just for his message and his music, but for how he was producing it. Found out energy is a base resource. If you store enough energy, you can power anything. His concerts are all solar power. Like, we're your outlets. And that's when I was like, whoa, everyone in the world is an outlet for change, you know, and plugged into each other we can change the world. He labeled his battery tour music for impact. They brought him to CPKC Stadium today for a symposium led by the Green Sports Alliance. They chose the venue because of the team's commitment to sustainability, energy efficiency, and women's empowerment. The, the power of sports to change the world, the power of music to change the world, combining those two things together, AY is the, the classic example of bringing that to life. His efforts have been recognized by the United Nations, who named him America's only representative of 17 youth leaders around the globe for sustainable development. He's wrapping up a 17-track album called Project 17, representing the UN's 17 sustainable development goals that will be presented next week at the Clinton Global Initiative. He's brought other artists, from Billie Eilish to Coldplay, have started to follow his lead of concerts using clean energy. People seeing my story, a guy that started in Kansas City here and now is all over the world and bringing world leaders together and uh, of all ages, demographics, all sides of the aisle, right, left and right, uh, I think it gives them hope that, wow, this can be done. We can really drive forward decarbonizing the music industry, decarbonizing the sports world, like making change. So this weekend will be concert 957. From there, he heads to Dubai with plans for that historic thousandth concert to be on Earth Day, which will actually put him in the Guinness Book of World Records. And Kevin, he tells me that he's still weighing options for where to have that concert, including possibly right here in Kansas City. Pretty awesome event to bid for. Thank you, Dave. Dave DeMarco live tonight at CPKC Stadium.